John, congratulations. A 4-0 win in your first game as, as caretaker manager. Just run us through your emotions at the minute. Um, yeah, like, you know, absolutely buzzing, really, um, for the uh, for the fans, uh, for the players and, and, and obviously uh, the, the staff as well. So, yeah, it's fantastic, really. It's been a whirlwind week. Um, obviously, it's, it's not a step up that you, you wanted to make under these circumstances, but taking this opportunity and doing it to the best of ability speaks to not only how well you know the boys and the, the team and the club, but how well these boys want to do for the, the club. Yeah, I think um, I, I, at the beginning of the week, um, I just said, you, you said to the players, um, it's, I just want to give you clear, clear messages um, and, and just to get help them, help, help them show what they can do. Um, and, and ultimately, the, the players went out and delivered that today. You talked about in your, your programme notes and your press conference, that, you know, you've been here since you were nine years old. You've seen the club in good times and bad. Um, so you know what it takes for Huddersfield Town to, to bounce back, the resiliency we've got as a, as a group, the fans included. Today was about as good of an example as that as, as possible because I don't think anybody saw four 0 coming. I think most people were praying for one nil. Yeah, no, and, and I think um, you know this type of game is a derby. Uh, you know the, the the atmosphere was good, uh, and, and I think we knew if we competed early in the game, they played Wednesday um, as well. So we, we knew that um, as the game went on, that you know we we get stronger, and and, and that was how the game uh, played out. The the preparation through the week was obviously fantastic. The training, you know, just listening to, to Jonathan Hogg on ITV saying how you know the mood was in, in, during the week and, and the, the work you guys have been doing with them, filling them with a bit of confidence, um, simplifying what they, they want to do and giving them clear instruction. But to be able to, to translate that today is is no small matter. That's got to give you a lot of pride with, with Tongi, with Kev Russell, the fact that they've taken those messages on board and, and put it out in the way they have. Yeah, I think, I think all staff, uh, not just the coaching staff, uh, Performance, medical, everyone, uh, and the, uh, the the analysts, uh, everyone worked hard together to, and I think it's just been, uh, you know, just a real collective effort from everyone to be as organised as possible, um, try and uh, work every solution that 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 you can that you can control, uh, and 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 then down to the players, and like I said, it's it's all the players today that they, they, they've done it and delivered it. As good as the week was, when you lose Jack Rodoni and David Kasumu overnight to illness, that's not ideal. Uh, the lads who stepped in, the lads who played today were absolutely fantastic, but you've still got Reese Healy and, and Bojan Radiklovic, you know, forced off with, with various injuries. The resilience they showed to, to take that in their stride and, and still put the performance in they did in the second half is, is something else, isn't it? Absolutely. And yeah, there were definitely a few curveballs uh, thrown uh, this morning when I got those early messages um, about, about Jack and David. Um, but but I knew because everyone was on board, everyone uh, was, was was wanting the, the same goal, uh, whoever stepped in um, would, would do the job and, 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 and they definitely did that. We saw you in the, the dressing room uh, at full time, speaking to the boys, speaking to them of pride, uh, of representing the best of themselves and, and just taking the messages on that you did. Just speak to how that made you feel to the way that they went out there and, and represented you because it's it's not a small thing stepping in, especially the way it is. People know who you are. There's a little bit of pressure on your shoulders this week, not that you, you let it stop you at all. That's got to give you a certain amount of relief as well as happiness. It, it did, um, you know, but um, I felt calm. I felt calm all week, uh, really supported uh, by my family. Um, so I, f I felt really calm uh, because I, I genuinely believe in the players. Uh, I, I really do believe in the players, and um, you know I, I felt all week that this was a game that we 100% uh, could go and win. On a personal note, you, you mentioned your family; they're incredibly supportive of you. We see you, you know your wife and your kids come with beating games when we're here in the Premier League Cup. That must have been a fantastic experience for them today as well. Yeah, it's a great moment um, because the, 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 my boys and my, my little girl never saw me play at Huddersfield, uh, saw me play elsewhere. So, um, yeah, ma massive pride um, when I look up there. And normally I'm sat there with them uh, for, for the home game. So to, to see them up there and uh, and give them a wave was and my wife. That was it was fantastic. The reception you got from the supporters as well before the game, but throughout the week when you were announced. Um, must have given you some real confidence that you know these town fans haven't forgotten who you are. Obviously, you, you haven't gone far uh, since you, your playing days, but it must have given you a, a really good feeling to know just how much they wanted to back you. I think so, and I, and I, I touched that on that with the with the players at the beginning of the week um, about you know what what these fans want to see, and you know if, if you show some a bit of fight and show that you really care, um, I think those things are massive and it, it goes a long way. And, and I think the fans generally knew that that's what I'm like as a, as a, as a player when I played here. Um, and I just tried to, to make sure that the players, which they do, um, you know, really kind of connected with that as well.
You spoke about freedom, shackles off, wanting them to take a few more risks. You you said you enjoyed risks as a player and, and as a coach as well. They certainly did that from, from early on, even in the, the first half. But the way they capitalised on the, the change of mood from the stands once the first had gone in and sensed a bit of blood, that shows that this squad is, is really able to put the pressure on whenever they, they have the opportunity to. Yeah, and I think it, it helps uh, with the characters in uh, within that that squad. Uh, you know, some some real um, top top professionals, um, but you've also got um, a, a good mix of younger players uh, and, and players who uh, can win games in in moments. And so there's a good. I think there's a really good blend, uh, and and that um, you know when you've got that, the, the the good characters in there driving that as well. Um, I, I think you know it's a massive massive part of the team. The last thing I'll, I'll ask you then, um, we don't obviously know what's uh, around the corner, but as far as first games go, this couldn't have, have gone any better to you. You know, when the message came down at the start of the week that this was going to be something that um, you were going to be taking on in the near future, uh, was this beyond the, the realms of your, your wildest dreams? Yeah, well well beyond well beyond that. Um, but yeah, it's it's just been unbelievable really. And, and like I said, I'll... Um, I'll sit back tonight and, and, and no one can take that away from me and, and, and this moment and I'll be you know, ext- extremely proud of what is feel fun. John, congratulations and well done. Cheers, thank you.